Hello, the Breakmaster here, and I'm going to review number six, episode six. Ah, oh, I got to say it, yeah. <laughs> review. So yeah, I'd say this is a pretty good episode. Still going decent. Still going good. Still going good. Still going good. So basically, I can sum this up pretty fast. Hopefully, basically this episode just <laughs> is about it. when it first started. Is um, you know uh. What's that girl's name? Safu? Yeah, Safu, she ended up uh, going back to number number six or, or, or that number five place or something like that. So this, the, the, the district she was first in when she where she um, met um, Shion and stuff like that. So she went back over there because her grandmother died and that's where she's going to be at. So she was over there and everything like that. And, you know, she was talking to her and whatnot. And then she ends up getting to see her, um, her grandmother one more time when she's in the casket and stuff. And she's all crying, and then they got this dude trying to help her, and she, she he, he ends up giving her a box that's supposed to be filled with all her all um her mother her grandmother's stuff, and in that box all it was was some, was some glasses, and it's just like, what the heck? Because I'm like, why why would they take all the belongings from them? I mean, the dead now. I mean, it just I don't know. It just makes no sense to me. Cause I know he, I know she had to, had to have more than that, cause she always knitted and stuff. So she's probably she, that's what she was wondering. She's like, "What the heck is this?" And then that scarf that was even in that box didn't even smell like her. And he was, she was like, "What the heck is this? This doesn't sound like her. S smell like her." And so she starts wondering, "What's up with number six? So now she's suspicious and stuff like that. So hearing that news, she ends up trying to call Shion, and for some reason Shion's not picking up because Shion doesn't have her his um ID thingy anymore. And, he, and she's like, oh, crap, what's going on? So she had to go um, meet Xion's mother, which is what she went to go do after that. And while she was running over there, she got got Xion's mom. And they started talking, and she was trying to uh, see, what, see what's up. Like, she was trying to ask, like, ask questions about Xion's mom and stuff. And Xion's Xion, mom ends up uh, telling her what's up. You know, she Xion's in the West District and stuff. He's not in the city anymore and she, and she knew there, there was something up because Xion's mom wasn't all sad crying or anything like that so she knew something was going on so that's why she needed she, to, she figured it all out and yeah so now determined and knowing what the fact that was going on she wants to go meet Xion and her mom is like no don't go and then she's like I love Xion Xion is my word I love him I love him <laughs> and she's then she's there and then Xion's mom's all just uh Hugging her like thank you, I know so, someone else actually cares about him and stuff. So she ends up leaving, and while she tried to leave, she ends up getting caught by the freaking people, the freaking West, those those those, those, those freaking cops, dudes that that took try to take Xion before that took try took Xion before. Now she's getting caught because she found out this place is bad. This is it's just so stupid. I mean, how did he even know? It's just like god dang. And it's just oh, it's so it's so frustrating. Right when that person, right when I saw that person, I would have ran. Cause this is like oh come on now. But yeah, so that so that happened. Now she's getting caught, and then um, Shion's mother actually saw the whole thing, and so she ends up sending a note to um Rat because um um Rat that little Rat little thingy he ended up, he ended up coming and ended up uh giving her a note, so she ended up writing one, a note back, and then they went over there. So we go to Shion and what she and and these me what what they're doing. So Shion is digging a hole for the for this dog that died. That was for that um that dog keeper because that's the person's name or something like that because they, they didn't say, say the guy's name or girl name the whole time and I don't know if it's a guy or a girl because in the subtitles it just said a girl but I mean it said a guy but he looks like a girl so, I don't know he could be a guy for all I know so I, I, I don't know I just I think it's like a guy. I, I don't know <laughs> but he's he's a dog keeper and so he's they're digging a hole for that dog and he's was getting you know he want to help and then dog keeper was getting mad and unlike usual so. Yeah, he ends up leaving, and Xion ends up getting done, and then he then Xion and um, Rat start talking, and talking about number six and how if you're not, if you're with, either with me or against me, that's basically what it is and stuff. So they start arguing over, over that fact the whole time, the rest of the episode, and then uh, Xion ends up leaving, and then Rat goes back to his place, like the only um, little place to live in, and then the Rat came, and then um, he ended up seeing the note that um, Xion's mom wrote, and that uh, Safu's gotten taken, and it says help her. So Rat instinctively tries to get up and go tell Xion, but then he thinks is that if I tell Xion this, he's gonna without a doubt um go after Safu. Me even if he has to die. So 
I think he's gonna do it. He's gonna do it himself. So that's basically the episode, and yeah. So if you've seen the episode, leave a comment below and tell me what you think of this episode. And if you haven't seen the episode, go watch it. Come back and leave a comment. It's been the Breakmaster, that, um, number six, episode six review. <laughs> it's been the Breakmaster breakout.